Hello, 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 sleepy heads, come to class. <laughs> Many people will be thinking, it is 9 o'clock, 9.01, 9.02, two minutes late, ma'am is not coming. No way, we are here to practice Karnataka set practice test number three. ta -da -da Ankita and me are here saying hello. <laughs> All right, I am sharing my screen. Ankita, are you ready for a blast? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Papers one and two again. Dear, dear friends, do you know one thing? We are going to have exclusive paper one sessions very soon. Ankita, would you like that? Yes, that would be awesome and very helpful. Right. Choose the wrongly matched pair. <clears throat> the man of mode or Sir Fopling Flutter. Are in the picture it says George Etheridge, correct? The constant couple. Is it by George Farquhar? The relapse. Is it by John Van Bra? Love's last shift. I know. It is by CC, not John Dryden. CC. Anybody guess what is CC? CC kya hoga, Ankita? It is Kali Sieber. <laughs> Love's last shift is by Kali Sieber. Dekho, dekho, dekho. <laughs> Kali Sieber. Love's last shift or the fool in fashion. All right. These are all restoration comedies. Remember, restoration comedy, one question will come. Why Shirley, Congreve, Etheridge, Farquhar, Van Bra, all these important. Okay, dear friends. <laughs> Gertrude Talks Back is a short story by, is it Beatrice Culliton? Gertrude from Hamlet is talking back. Wow. Is it Beatrice Culliton? Is it Margaret Atwood? Is it Jan Martel or Alice Munro? Is, is it talking back and all Alice Munro? I think Alice Munro. No, it must be Jan Martel. Gertrude talks back. From Hamlet, Gertrude is talking back. Who wrote it, Ankita? I don't know. It was written by Margaret Atwood. That's correct. Hey, Ankita. Margaret Atwood has also written a play, a uh, play novel based on the Tempest. Yes. The Hag. Hag Seed. The Hag Seed, yes. correct. Okay, Gertrude Talks Back is by Margaret Atwood. Hey, um, do you know somebody wrote a play called Penelope? Uh, Margaret Atwood wrote a novel called the Penelope Yard? No, Penelope Yard is a play called Penelope. Oh, a play called Penelope. Uh, I, I think it is Tony Morrison. Okay. Okay. Tony Morrison ne likha ki nahi likha. <laughs> Tony Morrison. Penelope is a play, I think. Penelope. I will check, okay? Because I have a vague memory. No, no. It is something else. What is the play? Oh, dear friends, YouTubers will be telling us. What is it? Something based on um, Desdemona. No. <laughs> what is it? What I only, um, uh, what I can uh, currently recall is the novella. Desdemona. Of... Desdemona. Said, not Penelope. It okay. is Desdemona. I got it. Desdemona is a play by Tony Morrison. I got it. Penelope is not a play. Penelope is Margaret Atwood. This is how we learn. We will think something. We will make a mistake. We will check online and then we will get it clearly. Did you understand? Like this, you have to study. Penelope is by Margaret Atwood. Desdemona is a play by Tony Morrison. Very good. Jan Martel. Oh, let me ask you one thing. Who wrote In Search of April Rain Tree? Beatrice Carleton. Correct. Who wrote Beatrice and Virgil? Jan Martel. Ha, ye Beatrice, wo Beatrice. <laughs> Jan Martel wrote Beatrice and Virgil. All right, who wrote 101 letters to a prime minister? It is Jan Martel only, I think. Oh, no, okay. I am wrong. 
Am I wrong? We should never take things for granted. I'm illustrating how to study here. Mm. 101 letters to a prime minister. You remember it, but you don't know clearly. So what do you do? Immediately you have to check. It is by Jan Martel. This time I am right. Okay, <laughs> he wrote letters to the Canadian prime minister. Very good. Moving on. Gertrude, uh, Gertrude talks back. Margaret Atwood. Hagseed, Margaret Atwood. Nutshell, Ian McEwen. Yes. A movable feast. <laughs> the warmly affectionate memoir of Ernest Hemingway is set in Dash. He and his friends, you can see in the picture, he and his friends are enjoying a movable feast. It's a memoir. Who is the author? Uh, sorry, Hemingway is the author. Where is it set? Is it London, Berlin, Paris, Vienna? London, Berlin, Paris is the answer. Isn't it, Ankita? Yes, Paris. They go Ernest Hemingway and friends in Paris. Which among the following is not a feature of romanticism? Emphasis on imagination. Yeah, correct. Free play of emotions and passions. Yeah, correct. Aloofness from everyday life. Ankita, that doesn't seem right. No, it's a wrong statement. It is wrong, but yeah. romanticism is primarily subjective. That is right. Yeah. Correct. So aloofness from everyday life nahi hoga in romanticism. Which among the following is an oriental tale by Byron? Talaba the Destroyer. Ankita, I think it is by Sade. Yes, Robert Sade wrote it. Yes. The Gior. I think it is by Byron. Ankita. Yes, the Gyor is one of the four oriental tales by Byron. Okay, tell us who. what are the four oriental tales. Okay, uh, so for, uh, first is the Gyor, then the Bride, Bride of Abydos, Abydos, the Corsair, and its sequel, Lara. Correct. Gyor, the Bride of Abydos, the Corsair, and its sequel, Lara. The Idiot Boy, it is by Wordsworth. So answer is the Gyor. Very good. Ankita, your turn. Absalom and Akitophel. Who is Akitophel intended to represent? Duke of Monmouth, King Charles II, Thomas Shadwell, or Earl of Shaftesbury. Whom does Akitophel represent in this work? You know what I studied when I was a BA student? Absalom and Akitophel. M and S. Manuscript I studied. M and S, Monmouth and Shaftesbury. So Absalom is Monmouth, Akitophel is Shaftesbury. Okay. Who said that Shakespeare approximates the remote and familiarizes the wonderful? This is a PYQ. Is it Ben Johnson, Dryden, Samuel Johnson or Charles Lamb? What do you think, Ankita? It is Samuel Johnson who said this in his preface to Shakespeare. Right. Shakespeare approximates the remote and familiarizes the wonderful. Ankita, you are done. This is a big question I can't read. <laughs> I'm lazy. Which play among the following parodies the conventional comedy genre and satirizes Victorian society and colonialism and also shows what could happen when the restrictions of both the comic genre and Victorian ideology are loosened. So which play shows all of this? Top Girls, Cloud Nine, A Number, or Serious Money? And you can see Carol Churchill in the picture. <clears throat> so it's a conventional comedy genre parody, satirizing Victorian society. Victorian society may set. Let us see the answer. It's Cloud Nine. Hey, Ankita, what is different about Serious Money? I think uh, it has verse. only one. It's a uh, verse play. Huh. It, it's a verse play, yes. It's a verse play. Okay, Ankita, which of these has only female cast? The top girls. <laughs> Correct. Top girls. The doctrine and discipline of divorce restored to the good of both sexes from the bondage of canon law was a tract published by Dash. Everybody is looking at the picture. Where is the answer? Where is the answer? Where is the answer? Is it Th Thomas Fuller, Thomas Brown, John Milton, Jeremy Taylor? It is one of the four divorce tracks of 
Milton. Yes, Milton. Milton wrote four divorce tracks. Okay, Ankita. Hmm. <clears throat> Who among the following wrote these lines? Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Who wrote these lines? Oh, Ankita. let me not to the marriage of true minds. I know who wrote it. <laughs> the sonnet. Yeah. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Actually, I've taught, taught this sonnet. Now I am remembering. It is Shakespeare. Yeah. It is Shakespeare. It is not John Dunn, not Thomas Wyatt, not Robert Herrick. In which novel of Thomas Hardy does the narrator observe, God is not in his heaven. All is wrong with the world. It is a tragedy where a good woman is dying. Is it Jude the Obscure, the Woodlanders, Tess of the Durbervilles, or the return of the native? A pure woman is dying at the end. Ankita knows. Do you know, guys? It is Tess of the Durbervilles. God is not in his heaven and all is wrong with the world. It is an inversion of what Browning said. God is in his heaven and all is right with the world. That is what Browning said, isn't it? Yes. Ankita, big question for you. Okay. Feminist genealogies, colonial legacies, democratic futures. This work provides a feminist analysis of the questions of sexual and gender politics, economic and cultural marginality, and anti-racist and anti-colonial practices, both in the West and in the third world. And this is a collection of essays. So this collection has been edited by which two scholars? Judith Butler and Sarah Suleri, M. Jacqui Alexander and Chandra Talpare Mohanty, Sarah Ahmed and Ruth Vanita, or Naomi Wolf and Anita Nair? Dear friends, feminism and colonialism, post-colonialism, both are there in the title. It may be, it cannot be four. Is it A, B, C? I think it is either B or C. Feminist genealogies, colonial legacies, democratic futures. Guys, we have to look at the works of all these writers before the next exam. Ankita, you have to help us. Is it B or C? It is option uh, B. M. Jacqui Alexander and Chandra Talpare Mohanty. Charadang, feminist genealogies, colonial legacies, democratic futures. By Jacqueline Alexander and Chandra Talpade Mohanty. Will you remember? What does it do? Provides a feminist analysis of sexual and gender politics, economic and cultural marginality, anti-racist, anti-colonial practices. Good. Name the author who elaborate, whose elaborate prose style originated the term Ufuism. From whom do you get the term Ufuism? Is it John Lilly? Is it Robert Greene or Thomas Decker or Thomas Nash? Euphuism is from John Lilly's Euphuism, the anatomy of wit. Hannah Ankita, yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so your turn. In which work does Blake say that Milton was a true poet and of devil's party without knowing it? The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, Visions of the Daughters of Albion, The Ghost of Abel, or The Everlasting Gospel. Blake admired Milton. But Milton made a mistake when he depicted Satan as the real hero. So Blake is correcting that mistake. And he says Milton was the devil's party without knowing it. He wrote prophetic books where uh, he tried to correct this mistake also. It is the marriage of heaven and hell. That is where he says this. This book was based on Emanuel Swedenborg, a philosopher. Emanuel Swedenborg wrote heaven and hell. Remember everybody, don't forget. The marriage of heaven and hell. Look at the engraving that Blake did. A poor cleft-lipped gardener is the protagonist. 
of a work by our J.M. Kutse. That is the man in the picture. A poor cleft-lipped gardener. Is it dusk lands waiting for the barbarians? Life and times of Michael Kay or the master of Petersburg? Ankita. It is a life and times of Michael K. Life and times of Michael K is modeled on Joseph K by Kafka. Yes. Kafka's yes. Joseph K in the trial. <clears throat> All right. Joseph K, Michael K. Okay. Which K do you like? Joseph K, Michael K. Okay. Tell me, Ankita. Yes. It is Choose the wrongly matched pair. Uh, you can't see the screen, eh? Are, mm, yeah. kya kya. Okay. Abhi? Huh. Now we can see the screen. Choose the wrongly matched pair. Lucy Snow. <clears throat> Let's correct her. Mary Smith. Cranford. Kanye Mary Smith. Esther Samazar. Oh, these are characters. Yeah. Lucy Snow is a character in Villard. Mary Smith is a character in Cranford. Esther Samazan is a character in Bleak House, correct? Hai. Gwendolyn Harlet is in Felix Holt. Felix Holt, nahi. I remember. Daniel Deronda is in love with Gwendolyn. In Daniel Deronda, Anna? Yes, right. Daniel Deronda, it is. Okay, Ankita, your turn. <clears throat> Who among the following is a Caribbean writer? Ken Saro Viva, Ama Ata Aidu, Welcome Somi or Claude McKay, who among them is a Caribbean writer? I know this. One of them was a Caribbean American of the Harlem Renaissance. Yes. Caribbean American of the Harlem Renaissance. It is Claude McKay. Banana bottom home to Harlem. Very good. In Wuthering Heights, Heathcliff enters the Earnshaw family as Dash. Hey, this is so easy. And it's a PYQ as a foundling. Yes. <clears throat> we don't know who he is. He is a foundling. Heathcliff. He becomes a hero. Now, the Bollywood movie Jab Tak Hai Jaan has been inspired by which novel? After you tell, I'll tell you the story. Ankita, your turn. Okay. So is it Brighton Rock? The Power and the Glory? The heart of the matter or end of the affair. You know, all these are Catholic novels by Graham Greene. And this movie is based on the end of the affair. The last of Greene's Catholic novels. Here, Morris Bendrix is in love with Sarah Miles. And Sarah Miles is the wife of another man, Henry Miles. Suddenly, for no reason, Sarah Miles leaves Morris Bendrix. And Morris Bendrix is indignant. Why did she leave? And then later on, he gets to know during the Second World War, there was a bombing. Morris Bendrix nearly died. Sarah, ben, uh, Sarah Miles prayed to the Catholic God and his life was saved. And as a sacrifice, she left him. That is the story. The end of the affair. Have you watched that movie? Jab Tak Hai Jaan? You should. All of these works are by Stephen Greenblatt, expect, except... Except the industrial reformation of English fiction, social discourse, narrative form, never heard before. The rise and fall of Adam and Eve. But guys, I want to tell you one thing. Please look up the complete works of all these major writers. They will ask. Marvelous processions, processions learning to curse. Those I know are by Stephen Greenblatt. Ankita, which is not by Stephen Greenblatt, who is it by? Yes. Uh, so this first work, The Industrial Reformation of English Fiction, this work is by Catherine Callaghan. She was also another new historicist scholar. And along with Catherine Callaghan only, uh, Stephen Greenblatt had edited the work Practicing New Historicism. Excellent. Very good. So today onwards, everybody look up the works of these writers. Oh, oh, paper one. What is the meaning of firewall? Is it a software program or a piece of hardware between computer and internet connection? A software program between printer and memory chip. A device to create fire on the wall or virus. Ankita, 
I think it's a software program, but A or B, you tell me. Hey, correct. It's... It is not between printer and memory chip. It is between computer and internet connection yeah. because shopping virus and, uh, you know, uh, malware. A software program between computer and internet connection. Ankita, your turn. UGC insists on research papers to be published in journals with Dash. ISSN number, ISBN number, registration number or serial number. ISSN is the number for journals, International uh, Standard Serial Number or something. Hmm. And uh, International Standard Book Number is for books, not for journals. ISSN is what it should have. Hmm. Right. Rusa, R-U-S-A. Are, yaha likha hai. No, no, it, was, it is not written here. What is the meaning of Rusa? Rashtriya Unnata Samskriti Abhyan. Rashtriya Uchha, Uchha, Uchhatar. Shiksha Abhya, Rashtriya Unnata Stri Abhya, Rashtriya Uchha Sahitya Abhya. I think it is B. No, it is B. A, C, D are all fabrications of Ankita's brain. <laughs> Very good. Name the new director of NAC. Everybody, salute karo. New director agaya. Kaan hai? Ankita bolo. It is Professor Ganeshan Kannabiran. Salute, sir. Please give A plus to all our colleges. <laughs> Even if they don't have any facilities. Please, sir. <laughs> okay, humidity in the air. Hey, humidity. Kya karta hai humidity? <laughs> Kerala mein bahut hai humidity. Bolo, bolo. It decreases air temperature. Is it? Increases Haan, air temperature, decreases air temperature, has no effect on air temperature, maintains air temperature. Mujhe nahi pata tha. Because here everybody says, Bhoot humidity hai, fan chalao. <laughs> Shayad they are saying completely wrong, I don't know. <laughs> I am not an expert on air humidity, dear friends. <laughs> that brings us to the end of this crazy... Fun, amazing, what? Practice test. Practice set. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back with more. And once this is over, we will start with ta -da -dang, paper one. What do you think of that? Okay.